of 100,000 residents has been poisoned by water contaminated with toxic lead. And I'm not talking about a developing country here. I'm talking about Flint, Michigan here in the U.S. So how did a poisonous element like lead get into Flint's water? And is what's happening in Flint a sign of things to come across the country? The city's water problem started in April 2014, when, to save money, the state of Michigan switched Flint's water source from Lake Huron to the Flint River. Almost immediately, Flint's residents started complaining that the funky-tasting brown water coming out of their taps was causing rashes and other health problems. That's because the Flint River is 19 times more corrosive than Lake Huron, and the saltier water started to eat away at the lead pipes. Just a few months after the switch, lead poisoning doubled in children five years old and younger. Lead poisoning is linked to lower IQs and often irreversible behavioral, health, and developmental problems. And to add insult to injury, Flint residents' water bills were some of the highest in the country at $150 a month, which can be burdensome in a city with 16% unemployment and 44% poverty. In November 2015, citizens of Flint filed a class action lawsuit against Governor Rick Snyder, the state of Michigan, the city of Flint, and other officials. The lawsuit alleges that cost cuts were put ahead of the health of citizens. And it lists several health effects believed to be a result of the contaminated water. These include hair loss, skin lesions, vision loss, and depression. Michigan's Department of Environmental Quality should have prevented the lead poisoning by treating the water with anti-corrosives, but reportedly chose not to because it would have cost $100 a day. And now replacing the collapsed infrastructure is estimated to cost up to $1.5 billion. And while it's Flint that's currently suffering, what's happening there could happen in other communities across the country. According to a 2012 report by the American Water Works Association, the water infrastructure in the country is under threat of total collapse, possibly costing $1 trillion in repairs over the next few decades meaning we could see more instances of water contamination as a result of old pipes, as well as higher water bills for Americans living in affected communities. In 2013, the American Society for Civil Engineers graded the United States drinking water infrastructure a D, pointing to 240,000 water main breaks per year. A lot of the U.S. water infrastructure is at least 100 years old, and it hasn't helped that federal funding for water and waste systems was cut about 80% over the last four decades. That means consumers face a bigger bill for water and waste system upkeep, and that doesn't come cheap. But some states like Illinois, Pennsylvania, and Massachusetts are responding to the breakdown in water infrastructure in some of their communities with the money needed to repair and rebuild. So, with such a basic necessity under threat, how many more flints will it take for the federal government to make a real commitment to the country's water?